All right, so we're back. Uh, we are finishing up mining in Hollis's Nebula in CSD. Uh, all the other mines except these two are, are done, and we're just uh, letting this one finish up mining some carbon. So it's completed, and it has probably streamed all of its contents to the Kogi at this point, so we're going to reclaim this mine. And this one is finished as well, we can reclaim that. And now we can trade with the copier. We can tell it to give us everything. We have 172 carbon, 809 hydrogen, that's quite a bit. If we look at Hollis's mission, Hollis would like 512 hydrogen and 160 carbon, so we're definitely past that point. So let's head over to Hollis. We're about 292k away. We've got things at 200k to speak to him. So I'm going to transfer, transfer all power to my engines. Hit tab. We'll head his way. Sarah likes at the beginning of the game is definitely not fast, but that's something we can remedy. So we're back at Hollis. Let's talk to him. Here are the resources for the nearby Celestials. So you are a mining vessel. Having some trouble with cargo base if you can keep those resources. I hope you find all of the things you searched for in Leicester. Request completed. Very well. So Hollis was kind enough to let us keep his resources. Go back to cargo. We got quite a bit, which is good because we now have 800 hydrogen, so that gives us the ability to deploy up to 800 mines. So right now, let's switch back to the Estrella. And let's pull up this big radar. So, Dolan mentioned to us that there were other wrecks in this system. And when we completed his mission, he was kind enough to really light up the system and, and, uh, and, and, and it scan everything for us, right? So we don't have to fly around and scan everything. So if we zoom out on the radar here, um, we can see kind of some dark spots. Those are ships off in the distance that are outside of our detection range. And they're spinning around, which is a pretty good indication that they are wrecks. And they are kind of southeast. So let's do a pulse. That way is north. Let's turn over here. And we're gonna transfer power to our engines. Transferring power to engines. And floor it. Now while we're traveling off into this vast distance. We can actually modify our pulse. Right now it's set to scan for planets and vessels. Um, it can also be set to scan for wild creatures and more importantly it can be set to scan for wrecks. So I'm actually going to turn off everything else except for the wrecks. We'll turn my pulse range all the way. Actually I can see one of the wrecks right here but I'm going to do another pulse. And I can see that's probably the wreck in the nebula. Those are the two wrecks that I scanned earlier. But this shows we got some more wrecks out here. So let's stop off with this, this Peretti. New database entry received. Which has some salvage. So this Peretti has a pretty nice neutron power core. We will take it. And I can see there are more wrecks off in the distance there, so let's keep heading this way. Again, if I look on my radar here, I can see off in the distance we got some more wrecks there, likely. Slow down a bit and so this wreck. It's got another neutron core. We'll take that too. And off in 
the distance we have yet another frigate. All right, so we're now in detection range. Looks like that's the only thing out here with the wreck, which that would be that comet. All right, close enough here. Let's salvage this. This has Lux. We'll take that too. Five Lux. And that comment is something to come back in mind. So, so we've now salvaged all these wrecks. Um, uh, you know, we could travel all the way back to the jump point, but since the Estrella and the Serelix do not require a jump exit, they can essentially jump out of the system from anywhere. I'm going to jump back to Austi quick. Arriving at Austi. Let my jump system charge back up, and then I'm going to jump back to Thetan, which this will bring us right into the jump entry. Arriving at Sirius Thetan. Save us all that travel time. So I picked up a nice power, a couple of nice power cores actually. I'm going to this up. I'm going to put one of those cores on the Estrella. So if I go to the advanced engineering, what do I have now? So my available power based on my current settings is I almost have 158 or 148 terawatts. I've almost got 150. And if I were to put all reactors on emergency power, I would have up to 248. Let's try that quick. I'm going to hit uh, page down, uh, which will put all Right, reactors on emergency power. This red upright here would do the same thing. Actually, I'll just click on that. Emergency power. So all my reactors are now on emergency power. I'm getting 248 terawatts out of them, although you can see they're starting to heat up. Uh, once they surpass this green area, uh, the, you, the reactors will start to damage themselves. And I'm getting a lot of power. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set everything back to power normal. systems to standard. And they'll start to cool off again. We have a lot of power though, so, um, all right, we are within range of the Cerelex, so let's trade with the Cerelex and give it, actually I'm going to give the Cerelex everything I've got, just store it there. All right, we're over there, I'm going to hit F, come back. Um, I'm going to pull this fission core off, put this neutron core on. And the advanced engineering for the Serelex, so now I'm up to 68 potential terawatts of power. A lot more power for the Serelex. So at this point, I think we have pretty well wrapped up uh, Thetan. There's a lot more to mine in this system if you rotate and face north uh, from the jump point. You can see off in the distance. So let, me, let me turn my planets back on. Let's do another pulse. So you can see off in the distance these green lines, those are celestials. Um, there's, some, there's some nice asteroids and a planet, the comet out there to mine. We spoke to Dolan. Dolan said they were protecting an anomaly in this system. You can see that anomaly off in the distance over here. Uh, there are defense platforms in that area, so it's not a really good idea to travel there. They will fire. And uh, we could mine those asteroids as well. But uh, for right now, I think we're just gonna take a break and we come back. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll hurl some mines around in this system and then head south uh, for, let's see what's south of us, Cetus Qatar. If we come back, we'll head for Cetus Qatar.